we are celebrating 24 years of community service. I'm going to introduce you first to our panelists. We have Dr. Lee Bailey. He is the publisher of the digital magazine EURweb.com. We have Stephen Littles. He's a Renaissance man. He's an actor, director, and a producer. We have Dr. Kira Mosley Hobbs. She's the artist manager. She has managed her client all the way up to walking the Emmy Awards. We also have Draper Winston, president of Vanguard Affinity Group. We also have Connie Fife, and hopefully I pronounced that right. She's CEO and president of the Talent Concierge Artists Agency. We also have Paul Gardner. He is the founder and general manager of the Gardner Law Group. We also have Nadia Kareem. She's an artist development specialist. She's awesome. She has worked the artist all the way up to a major deal. We also have Gregory Goodlow. He's a billboard chart typing jazz guitarist. We have Anthony Hobbs. He is the founder of the Imagination Lunchbox International Children's Film Festival. Just finished their seventh year in the film festival. He's also an award-winning actor. Last, we have Dr. Winston Greer. He is a Christian radio host in Georgia. He's also a pastor and an author. In the professional showcase, we have John Ellison performing from Tampa, Florida, courtesy of Great Scott PR and Pop Me Music Records. We also have Sheila Wanamaker. She's coming from North Carolina, courtesy of WWPR. She's going to sing from her latest EP, Black Butterfly. And last, we have the Mako Girls from Atlanta, Georgia, courtesy of Mako Girls Entertainment. These young ladies have been performing since they were 10 years old, over 10 years performing around the world. They, that's about it. So I'm going to hand you over to our host, Vera Jones. We also have Raquel Belt. Our host, I'm handing it over to you. Just know this show could not even fly if it weren't for some great sponsors. And I have a long list of them. So let me get through them. Number one, Freelance Associates, Uplifting Minds 2 Foundation, EURweb.com, MoreOpera.com, LawyersRock.com, Talent Concierge Artist Agency, also known as TCAA, The Gardner Law Group.com, The Pulse of Entertainment.com, Pop B Music Group, Vanguard Affinity Group is here. Debbie Allen's Dance Academy, awesome. ImaginationLunchbox.com, BlazeForGloryMusicGroup.com, AnthonyMichael.com, Superstar Entertainment, Dustin AFF Productions, Great Scott PR, w and w PR, uh, and also Raquel Belt uh, from Chosen, and then the Perseverance Speakers Academy of Vera's Voice Works LLC. That is my shameless self-plug. Yep, got mine in there too. We've got some great sponsors for today's event. You're in for an awesome treat. Now, um, allow me to give you the deets. This is how our show is going to flow. Number one, we're gonna begin with a professional panel discussion. Now it's our opportunity to get in some questions and answers. Uh, so if you wanna learn about the entertainment industry, all facets of it, cause we've got it all here. This is your opportunity to, uh, to listen and to learn, all right? So we'll do that because when you know better, you do better. And we certainly wanna see our audit artists do uh, extremely well. Secondly, we are thrilled to present artists from our professional showcase. Now, these are artists that are already signed uh, to indie record labels, uh, management companies, and various artist agencies. Then last but not least, so three things to remember, the last thing we're gonna do is get into our national talent competition. And that's the part that many, many of you here for. Um, I'm looking forward to it as well. It's such an exciting time to see these young folks uh, and some older ones too, right? Get into their groove, do the things that they love and that they dream and that they hope they'll be discovered for. Um, and we're offering some opportunities for that today. So singers, songwriters, dancers, and actors are gonna perform today uh, completely for your entertainment, uh, but also for uh, a chance to win. It's just that simple. The top three scorers uh, from our judges are going to win, get this, 19,000 or over 19,000 in products, services, and of course, cash. Everyone loves the money, honey. And if you don't, give it to me, all right? In short, you're in for a complete treat. 
Uh, before I toss it to my co-host Raquel, though, who's standing by, uh, we're going to just go ahead and kick things off with a little music. It's kind of what you came from, right? Baltimore competition winner Lil Heiss is in the house from Wisconsin performing his winning selection. Lil Heiss? What's up, y'all? Heist. I just left the spot. We done left the ceiling hot. No, I cannot dance, but I know that Diddy Bop. When I cop a milli, I'ma drop the ceiling top. If it ain't about handling business, please don't hit my line. We the main attraction. We done got it started. Trent, sit up, baby. Whatever you call it. We gon' make a move it. Rock out, holy. I think I need names. I can call me Tardy. My brother, I go. Ain't no way around, I won't be coming through the spot. I'm a trend, so that nobody doing better. You better get a trust before I get a game on lock. Let's go. Like speed. We ain't looking back, we only see better days. This game's in me. We going straight for throttle, we ain't no. Can we give a round of applause? I know we're on mute, but we can give a virtual. Listen, listen, I'm over here like I go up. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That was, thank you so much, Lil Heiss. I can definitely see why you won. I am Raquel Bell. I am your co-host um, for this amazing event. So thank you, Lil Heiss, so much for just starting us off on such a high note. Like, yes, I love it. I am going to make sure I can stream your music um, for sure. Thank you so much. So first up on our list that uh, my lovely co-host introduced us to is we have that open panel discussion. So talent um, or anybody, if you have any questions, feel free one to raise your hand, but I'll kick it off with question number one. So for all of our professional panelists, um, the question is, can each of you give like the acts to follow um, any performance advice or just advice in general? Uh, let me start. I can kick it off. I think I saw Vanguard on here. Um, what are some advice that you can give the upcoming acts? Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Draper Winston from Vanguard Affinity Group. Um, I am also an actor as well. Um, and I just want to give a little, uh, a little bit to the following acts. You know, uh, first off, just have fun. Um, it's, a, it's a blessing from God to be able to show everyone your gifts and talents. So have fun and then live into the moment, live into what you're doing and embrace your dream and just enjoy uh, what you're doing today, regardless of what the results results are. Just have a good time um, and, and, and show us what, what God has given you um, and, and your vision. So have a good time. And let me see, Gregory, what is some advice that you could have for the upcoming acts? Well, the upcoming acts, I basically uh, be yourself. I mean, little heist, man, he put, he sets the bar. So you got, <laughs> you guys got to keep going up, going up with it. And, uh, you know, just keep striving for perfection. And you're not going to always be perfect, but keep doing it and make us smile. Make yourself happy. I love that. And then let me see. I just heard someone pronounce your name. And if I mess it up, please correct me. And it is, is it Nadia? Nadia. 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 What is some advice that you have? <laughs> okay. Well, what I enjoyed was I the visual. As soon as I saw his screen, it was nice to look at. It was a view. He gave us something to look at. And then the music, it made me start shaking my head, bopping my head. So that right there lets you know when people can start bopping their head to your music right away that you have them, it's good. And then his voice was good. His confidence was there. So that's what you need. Just have that confidence, believe in yourself, have fun, enjoy it. And the rest is history. And are there, for the artists, any of the artists who are upcoming, do you guys have any questions that you want to ask any of the panelists? You can write it in the chat or you can just come off mute. Um, 
I don't know if Lil Heist, if you're still with us, as you won last year, do you have any words of encouragement or advice for the winners this year or for the um, talents, the acts this year? Yeah, um, I just want to say, just have fun. Uh, Y'all are a good panelist and yeah, just go up, man. That's it. Thank you. Yeah. I have a question I'd like to throw in uh, if I can, Raquel. Absolutely. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this one to one I know, um, uh, Connie Fife. I, I see you sitting there, and and anyone else that's that's in representation for artists. Is there a certain what is it that you actually look for when you're going out and thinking about signing an artist? Um, what is it that you're looking for? That's a really good question. Uh, first of all, we look for the artist to see if they truly have a belief in themselves and the gifts that they have to offer. And that's one of a piece of advice that I have today. Be within yourself and don't, you know, don't worry about who else is around there. And so we take we take a look at that. We also take a look at uh, you know, what is your presence? You know, we, we look for those iconic influencers or do you have growth to get to that space or to that platform? So you have a gift, you wanna make sure that you're showing it and you're showing it to the world. So make sure that you're using your social platform to do that as well, because all of the agencies, that is one of the top three things that they look at when they're looking to sign somebody on. Thanks. You're yeah. welcome. I have a question for you. Um, what is, um, as my co-host, like you have this great one, a great voice, just this great presentation. And you've been in the spotlight and speaking and made a career of this. How, what are the things that you do just to prepare yourself to just present to all different types of audiences, all different types of crowds and to keep them engaged? It's all about, well, thank you, first of all. And you didn't warn me that you're gonna put me on the spot. So now I have this so much for all the confidence that I thought I had, right? So. Um, and confidence, that's the word. I think that's the big word. So kind of to follow up on what Connie Fife said, um, I think there is just an it. There's an it factor when you have a, a confidence that resonates. Uh, and it stems from authenticity. I think a lot of people think it has to be bigger and better and it has to look like the next person and it doesn't. People fall in love when they sense they can trust you and they sense you they can trust you because you're authentic. There's something about you that just says she's got it or he's got it. Um, doing what you love is important, but in terms of preparation, I spent a lot. I this is going to sound vain. I spent a lot of time in the mirror. I, I practice what I have to say. I practice my voice. I practice what I look like. Uh, I try to research. I I, I want to research as much as possible because that's a huge part of what I've always done in broadcasting. So. Um, I guess my biggest recommendation is to just be prepared. And the more you practice the, your craft, the, the better you're going to get at it, right? So the more you do it, hopefully the more passionate you become, the more passionate you become, the more uh, your authenticity stands out and the more confident you look. So that's pretty much it for me. Can, can I chime in one more time? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I like what Vera said and I like what Connie said. If, if if anybody who's who's on that's doing the talent today if they could remember and I and they touched on these three things practice patience and persistence the three P's are going to be vitally important for you to move up and move to the next level and I mean just those three things the three P's practice your craft have patience because things aren't going to always come as quick as you think that they are and be persistent. Never give up. Those are the three P's. I love that. That is, um, I use that. I need to use that for me. Um, cause patience, I know just in our industry can get, you know, it's one of the, I think it's one of our biggest struggles just as, as creatives for sure. Thank you so much. And I do, I know we, have a couple more minutes. So I would like to take a second and just get some advice from Dr. Winston Greer. Um, what is some advice that you could give um, just being um, a personality, a host? Um, what are your takeaways from just advice? One of the advice I would like to give uh, is don't get comfortable um, 
it's nothing wrong with being confident in your craft and your skill, but don't get too comfortable um, where uh, you stop investing in your skill and your gift. Um, I could oftentimes um, when um, someone get ready to perform or when someone get ready to preach, I can tell when they're not prepared. Uh, and um, you can tell that they're not comfortable because when, when a person is not, uh, when they get too comfortable, they uh, they tend to lack and um, and don't give that 100% to the audience that's, that's gonna be watching. So uh, my advice is don't get too comfortable um, with your skill. Always continue to invest in your gift. Absolutely, stay, one of the things I always say, um, especially as an artist, is just stay a student of the craft. Raquel, I'm throwing it right back in your lap. Tell us one thing. I mean, you've got a, a performance background. You are creative. Uh, where did confidence come from for you? How did you build it? You know, when, so I, I made the switch. I am a ballerina. I grew up in the ballet um, as just as a dancer overall. And using that confidence to just propel me into um, just an acting career outside of musical theater. Um, one of the things I did was um, stay in my lane in the sense of I went to where I knew I could excel before just venturing out. And I really think that that helped my confidence overall, meaning I went for when I was making the transition to just film, to just stage, right? I went for ensemble and musical theater first, kind of inched my way into this new realm and not just being like this cocky, I know I can do it, right? Where that overconfidence, like Dr. Um, mm -hmm. uh, when that overconfidence of I got it, I can do it. And then just, again, taking classes, um, setting time aside with my coach, all of those things, just staying, the confidence comes from practice. Perfect practice makes a perfect performance. So uh, as confident as I can see, uh, the, the preparation for that is extensive. And just, again, staying a student of the craft and just inching my way in to what I'm good at and then propelling myself and pushing myself in those new arenas. Um, and then doing the same thing all over again there, practicing, um, hiring a coach and just working in that arena then. Thank you. Thank you for that. And thank you to all of our panelists. I mean, the information that you share here, seriously, just in the 15 minutes is, is worth its weight in gold because there are so many young people out here trying to make it. They want to make it. And you get so much misinformation. So being able to assemble people who've been there, done that, you know, failed, succeeded, all of it, uh, have, have been in and out of the industry. Uh, this is just an awesome, awesome showcase. So we want to keep it moving uh, in this showcase. Thanks again to everybody, all of our panelists. Uh, if you have any more questions, if you want to just pop them in the chat, if we missed anybody, we'll see if we can play catch up on the on the back end of things. For right now, what we want to do is uh, jump into our first professional act. Uh, they are brought to you. Our professional showcase sponsors are Great Scott PR, Pop Me Music Group, Mako Girls Entertainment, and W and W PR. Our first act, you might've heard this about, about this in the introduction. I got so excited uh, and did my research, went right to uh, Google just to see if this was who I thought it was. Uh, it's a West Virginia Music Hall of Famer whose hit single, She's Some Kind of Wonderful, uh, he wrote back in 1967. Uh, it's the third most played song in the world, not in the US, <laughs> in the world. That blew my mind. Uh, it's been covered by Grand Funk Railroad, uh, Huey Lewis in the news back in the 80s. I'm dating myself. Josh Stone did it again, I think, in 2003. She was one of my very first interviews uh, uh, back in the day, singing She's Some Kind of Wonderful. Please welcome soul singer-songwriter John Ellison. Thanks. It's, uh, it's uh, awesome to be on your show. Been looking forward to it and uh, listening to the panel. Uh, and all of the upcoming artists that, uh, and and my, I have one more thing I want. I would like to add. Uh, in the, in anything in life, there's a lot of dream killers. Mm -hmm. So if you have a dream, don't let anyone kill your dream, because everything you see on this earth started from a dream. Everything. So, without further ado. I guess I'm going to sing some kind of wonderful for you. And um, 
just to, uh, before I start, I, I would like to add uh, what a lot of people do not know is that the first group to record Some Kind of Wonderful was an African-American group, which I was lead singer and songwriter for, a group called Soul Brothers Six. And we were on Atlantic Records. And uh, during that period when we recorded, uh, unfortunately, a lot of black music was not played on white radio stations. Grand Funk Railroad uh, used to listen to a lot of black music. And when they heard that song, Some Kind of Wonderful, their manager said, you guys have to do a cover version of the song. So when they recorded it, uh, next thing you know, someone else recorded it. And now to date, 73 artists have recorded my song. And another thing I want to add, which is very important in this business, is the business side of songwriting. Make sure you copyright your music. Make sure you own your publishing, because that's where the money is. That's why I've never had to work a day in my life, except for a year and a half, because <laughs> I control my music. Wow. Okay. okay. And with that being said, right now, I'm going to sing Some Kind of Wonderful. And I want to sing it a cappella. I don't need a whole lot of money. I don't need a big, fine car. I got everything that a man could want. I got more than I could ask for. I don't have to run around. I don't have to stay out all night. Cause I've got a sweet, a sweet loving woman. And she knows just how to treat me right. Now my baby, she's all right. Now my baby, she's out of sight. But you know that she is. She's some kind of wonderful. Yes, she is. She's some kind of wonderful. Want to say it one more time. Some kind of wonderful. Yes, she is. Thank you so much, John. I don't think, I mean, I hope you guys can really grasp how iconic this moment just was. I'm over here. My, my cheeks hurt. I'm smiling. Thank you so much. Well, thanks for having me. And I, I enjoyed the show. And keep the faith and believing in yourself. Thank you. God bless. All right, you guys. Um, and next up, our next act, we're going to have an R&B singer songwriter, Miss Sheila Wanamaker from Charlotte, North Carolina. And she's going to perform from her new EP called Butterfly. Take it away. Hey, okay. I just want to thank you again for allowing me to participate. I'm so honored to be a part of this conference. I'm going to sing Black Butterfly. That's my title track. And I pray that it brings the encouragement that was intended when it was written. Thank you so much. Bless you all. Wanamaker, give it Thank up. You. We love it. Oh, Thank yes, you. Yes, we felt it. I know I feel like that little black butterfly. I felt every piece of the lyric you sang. Thank you so much for that, awesome. Sheila. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome for being here. 
our next act, um, like I said, I did my research and I'll, I have no problem telling people, yep, I'm long past my 50th birthday. Uh, but I try to keep it real and I try to keep it young, keep it flowing, right? Uh, by checking in with my nieces and nephews and things like that. So they keep me correct. Um, and this next act, wow, I went again straight to the internet. I wanted to do the research. Uh, very excited uh, for this professional showcase. The Mako girls are from Atlanta, Georgia. They are sisters. They sing, they dance, they rap, they have videos of, of <laughs> dissing people in the classroom. I, I told you ladies, I went, I watch, I watch. It's pretty hilarious. Uh, they've been performing since the age of 10 all over the world with over 300 performances. Uh, please put your hands together for Mimi, Kina, and Anai. Uh, to their credit, they'll be performing from their new EP, Levels, spelled L-B-L-S, Levels, to this. Mimi, Kina, and Anai, welcome. Hi, uh, well, thank you for having us. So we wanna first introduce ourselves. What's up, y'all? She girl, Mimi. I'm Anai. Yo, it's Kina. And we're the Mako Girls. We're an Atlanta-based girl group that make pop and RB music, and we're gonna perform our single called Ain't Thinking, Thinking About, About you. you, full of energy. So DJ, let's get into it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to run to the bed. Only thing I got is money on my mind. I ain't thinking about you. I ain't thinking about you. phenomenal round of applause um and i know it was connie and gregory who were talking about dedication just to the art your look your aesthetic and when i say you guys have it all i can see why 300 performances just worldwide i see it y'all the dance I, I learned the dance i just want y'all to know some of y'all do hey. I, I got it but um you guys are definitely the, the complete package you guys thank you so much for performing for us today Thank you for having us. Hey, I was I was wondering, were we gonna be able to talk like after each act? Because <laughs> I just want to remind you guys remind me so much of that movie group Stars. All right, oh, wow. you know what I'm saying? You guys is rocking like Sierra over here. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations! I'm I'm yes. proud. Of you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. All right, you guys, thank you so much again to the Mako Girls. I'm getting ready to go follow y'all on TikTok now. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> we're going to announce the national talent competition, but first we have our 2023 Baltimore first place winner, who is a native of Mississippi and will perform for us his winning selection. So let's give it up for Ace and you go ahead and take it away. Thank you guys so much for having me. I'm a humble guess if that's how I am. From the height of your lies Crushed from the pressure The desire to deny Tried to turn and hide my face away From all the things you came to find A safe place 
Fall in love, it would take some day to make my kids say, hey, you guys, lay the way. But we've fallen, not fallen, lost in our own ways. We've drifted and shifted into the people we hate. But my heart still loves her and aims for you. It hurts that I went through. Cause I still love you. Sorry for getting undressed. Things started falling off and getting in my way. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Thank you so much, Ace. I can't imagine ever anybody telling me that they love me in that voice and I not fall in love with that. <laughs> right? like, there's, oh my goodness. Thank you so much. No, I'm like, no, I love you too. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome, Ace. Yes, I understand why you took the competition in Baltimore. Ah, absolutely outstanding. Thank you, Thank you so much um, for agreeing to be here again today and best of wishes uh, uh, for all your future endeavors. I know you're going to do well. Um, we're going to ready start our national talent competition. Uh, in this portion, this is where the judges are going to be scoring for selection or content, delivery or performance, and showmanship or professional. Let me try that again. Showmanship or professionalism. Judges are going to score from one to five, with five being the highest. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have them tally that up. And the top three scores are going to be the winners. Okay, you guys ready? Are you, wait, girl, are you ready? I'm. I'm. I'm still. You am, can you see I'm sweating? I'm still sweating from Ace's high notes. <laughs> I'm ready. I think I'm all set. I think this is the exciting part. Um, all of this has been great already. I just. I haven't stopped smiling. My cheeks hurt. I think what's exciting now is that we get a chance. You know, you you have these young people that are always dreaming to have this opportunity to showcase their talent. And what a great opportunity to be here today. So it's not even about just winning the prizes, the services, the products and all of the things. It's this, right? It's this opportunity to be seen by the world, really. So this is awesome. And yes, I'm ready. I am too. So let's get right into our first contestant um, and... Our first contestant is going to be Tariah Williams, and she's from Washington, D.C., and she's actually a 2012 Baltimore dance winner, and she's just coming back to see if she can win that cash prize. Are you ready? Yes. Hi. Hello. Well, I'm going to let you take it away, okay? Yes. For the signs, signs, any signs of the guys who underneath our bad blood, we still got a sign. Home, home, still at home, still at home. Yeah. It's not too late. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen, for Taraya Williams. And even though we had some sound difficulty, we could feel every piece of your movement. Uh, to, uh, I'm sorry, is, is it Tiara? Tiara. Tiara, okay. I apologize. Tiara, want to get the name right for sure. Thank you for uh, that incredible dance. With performances, any any chime in, any feedback, any? I enjoyed, Um, I don't know if uh, Tiara can still, is she still on here? Yes, she is. Um, the the calypso the quadruple fortes i see you <laughs> thank you I see you okay I, um i know it is such a it's rare as you get older i grew up a, a ballerina as well so just getting older really hold on to that you will get more gigs not doing ballet not doing lyrical but hold strong to your choreography if i can give you any advice um and then just make sure 
you still train, still train. You may not get booked so much at, in ballet, in lyrical, in contemporary, but still train because you're going to be the first one booked, even though you're not using those skills just because you are technically trained. And I'm proud of you, little Black girls in ballet. I'm proud of you. It is not easy. So I am so proud of you when I see you. If you ever That's need awesome. a tour, make sure you reach out. I am here, okay? Yes, thank you. That's awesome. And also know by the time you get my age, you won't have back troubles and your body bones squeaking every morning when you wake up. So that's <laughs> stay, stay in your craft, my dear. Stay in your craft. Thanks, dear. I still, I still dance to this day. So I promise it is a life, a beautiful life. I've traveled the world dancing. So just stay beautiful. in it. I would just like to say I loved it. She was beautiful. Um, the glitter, the gracefulness. So I really enjoyed your performance. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to add just, to what what Vera said about you know we we did have some music technic you know technical difficulties on our end, but and I'm sure that Tiara, you were hearing it on your end perfectly, but we could still feel it through your movements. We could feel mm -hmm. it and see it in your facial expressions and how you just moved around the, the dance floor and how you you know, presented yourself to us. So, you know, and again, just reiterating to what, what um, Raquel said, keep, keep, keep going, keep dancing, keep your choreography of who you are and just embrace embrace that as you continue on in your career. Yes, I will. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other comment? Any other comments for Tiara? Any any other comments? Yeah, I would like to say, uh, as I observe uh, Tiara, I I noticed um, her confidence. She enjoyed what she was doing, and she was enthusiastic about um, her performance. So. Um, She's done a wonderful job and just, just want to tell you to, to continue to doing what you're doing. Thank you. I will. Kanai, are you ready with us? Yes. Awesome. Wait in the water, wait in the water, children, wait in the water, God's gonna trouble the water. My name is Harry Toon. I was born in the richest family, when they teach me. He was the first thing of his baby in 1849. I was born. And I was raised. I was the most. And I never lost a penalty. Nobody blames those. My friends, Fred Douglas, William Steele. If you hear the dog, keep going. If you think it what you did was, keep going. Don't ever stop. Don't ever give up. Great job. Great job. Such a powerful piece to, powerful character to channel. 
um, at such a young age. And then just to add in, um, if anyone's not an actor, to add in not only a powerful character to be a conduit for, but also just voice work is also, I know Vera, you can attest to how difficult voice work can even be. Um, so just combining that in, great work, great job. Thank you. I just like to ask uh, what made her do that particular uh, piece, being that she's such a young lady and that's kind of something that I, surprised me that somebody would even dare to do something like that. It's, but maybe I'm wrong. But what what inspired you to do that? What inspired me to do that is she she was very brave and she never gave up and she kept on going back to get other slaves and it inspired me to do that. I am. Um, you are phenomenal. I think wow. that you have the capacity to be a great actress, not only that, a storyteller, and also a, a screenwriter with your with your parents. I mean, this is you. You've done great. Thank you. I have a question, uh, playing off some of what Lee was asking. Um, how, I mean, you, you stepped into character with that. I mean, you're seven years old. Have you played this character someplace else or any other type of acting? What else is it that you do? I do speeches. Is there anything in particular that you enjoy doing in terms of your speeches? Or uh, again, other acting that you do, or is it all around Harriet Tubman? Well, one time I did do Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Okay, and I'm sure that was very powerful as well. All right, so our next act, um, as we push along, um, is from. Dumaguete City, Valencia in the Philippines, a singer and a keyboardist, very excited. Kim Hewitt, please give a big round of applause and warm welcome. You're on. Thank you. question was how old are you nine nine and are, so, are you well I, I was just gonna ask uh you you kind of i saw some bruno mars uh, <laughs> moves in there is is he somebody you kind of style yourself after huh are you after bruno mars do you know who Bruno Mars is? Yes. Okay. Do you yeah. style yourself after? Are you a fan of Bruno Mars? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I've seen a little bit of Jackie Wilson up in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> maybe any maybe, any other maybe, comment? Maybe Bruno saw some Jackie Wilson also. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm gonna exactly. vote yes on that. <laughs> yes. Any other comments I, for Kim? I just want to. Oh, it's a lot of feedback. I just wanted to say your stage presence is awesome. You look like you're enjoying it. We couldn't see, I mean, not see, but hear. We couldn't hear a lot of the music, but what we did hear, we can tell you can sing. And I want to say continue with your dream of what you want to do with your singing. Never give up. Okay. I will get that. God bless y'all. Thank y'all for, for your patience. Okay. Yeah. Somebody get a new, a new heart. heart. Now they all healed up and it's a new, a new start. start. My life could have ended off finally. My wife car flipped over, but he was with me. The whole metal beam almost hit our head. Said the car got total, but we wasn't dead. And I don't really need a dead experience. Tell my story, give him glory. Gotta how give really him the glory right now. Give him the praise and give him the glory. Yeah. Um, do we have any feedback from our panelists? I am guys. Yeah, I'd like to jump in. Great song. I love that song. Now, is this is this song already out? Is this something on the radio? Because the song it's feels already, it's real. already out. It's already out. It already played in a couple of radio stations. We got the video out too. It's on Vivo. It's everywhere, man. It's yeah, man. And me and brother Sam, we got a lot of things coming, man. We actually got like five years worth of music that's coming we've been in the studio stuck in the studio for five years worth of catalog coming and that's just one of them nice uh, was this intended for gospel or mainstream or both or what uh say it say it say it again was this is the song intended is it targeted to uh mainstream radio or mainstream listeners or gospel yes. or yes. both or yes. what definitely it's definitely targeted for mainstream I really think, because listen, listen, God woke us up this morning. God started us on our way. We all breathing. We all alive. When I wrote this song, man, I was going through a lot. And then I heard the Holy Spirit say, why are you complaining? <laughs> and I started <laughs> writing this song. Why not give God the glory while we still here? You know? I love it. I love it. Amen. Can Amen. I, can I, say, uh, I want to say something. Okay, I have a, I have a radio show. Uh -huh. And I'd like to play the song. So, can you give me the name of the song? And yeah, the song name is "Why uh, Not." Hold up, I, I wanted to okay. say something else. Give us the name of the song, where uh -huh. we can find it on your musical platforms. Okay, well, um, you could y'all all can follow me on Angelic Sounds. Uh, that's Twitter and Instagram, Angelic Sounds with an S. Um, you could definitely uh, get the song from Spotify. We and Apple Music. We we are pretty much everywhere. Uh, the title of the song is Why Not uh, Angelic Voices featuring a Sam I. I. Well, we're going to give an opportunity uh, for the judges or the panelists to score and think of their comments. 